All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, decided to do a video of bar stud repair. And my problem was, and I don't know if you can see this, but the bar stud was so bad it actually made a hole all the way into the oiler. All right, you see that? Well, you won't be able to see the hole now. <clears throat> so... What I had to do was, I went and bought a new bar stud while I was at it to make sure. So, it, it, this whole part right here, I don't know if you can see this, was a hole. And and so the oil was actually pouring out. It was bigger than this hole right here uh, for the oil. So the oil was just pouring out of here because this behind here is the oil tank. So what I had to do was, is first... Um, if you see my other video, you'll see the baking soda and super glue trick. Now, I had to do that to, to plug up the hole that went into the oiler. Because otherwise, you just have, be, uh, uh, have JB Weld uh, going into your uh, bar oil. And you don't want that. So, I had to put uh, baking soda first and I packed the hole. And then I poured the super glue over it to pack the hole up so nothing can get into the bar oil i let that set it only takes a few seconds <clears throat> so then i had to figure out a way to put all of that into that hole afterwards so my brilliant wife came up with an idea this tylenol syringe it's the perfect size you can see where i used it so what i did was is I went ahead and mixed the JB Weld uh, with, uh, and let me let me go ahead and get that for you. Anyone that doesn't know what JB Weld is, uh, you should really know. This is JB Weld right here, uh, still in reinforced epoxy here. It says four to six hours, but I'm going to let this thing you know go for several several days uh but you 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 have a black and a white you put it on there and then you mix it all together so i put it on a piece of plastic and then i took a uh, popsicle stick uh, and then i mixed it up until you get to a dark gray color so i got that and then i took the popsicle stick and then uh, pushed it, you know, took it, and then, uh, let me show you like this. Let me take this off. <sighs> took it like this and just kind of wiped it into the hole. And then I took the syringe bottom and I pushed, and it worked so perfectly. You can see it's still pushing it out. Pushed it into the hole, and uh, we're going to uh, see if uh, when we let it sit for several days um if we can put a bar on uh and successfully push down on the bar with the chain and in some wood and it and it hold up but that is it i mean what a great way to fix that little little problem we'll see if it actually holds up all right so we're back uh I don't know if I should get close enough, but um, so I replaced both screws here. I replaced this one while I was in there because it was really chewed up uh, from whoever had it before, and I probably need to make it go in just a little bit further, as you can see there. So I uh, kind of brought these to show you what I do, and this is what everybody does. Um, put that in there like that, and these two nuts against each other kind of force this to work but Let's see if I can do this. Yep. Yeah that's as tight as it wants to go. Okay. I can come back and tighten it if I need to. But so anyway I got both both screws here so 
this has been two days of this curing and I wanted to make sure that I could not stick see I can stick a fingernail in there where yesterday I could actually stick it and it would stay there uh, so I wanted to make sure it wasn't too gummy and right now you can see you can pull it up nothing but that doesn't really tell you anything until you actually get the bar in the wood so we're going to put the bar on here I always keep them in this scabbard here until you get them on uh, it keeps the grease off of you uh, This had a uh, 25 on it, so let's uh, let's move it back a little bit. So this is going to be a 20 inch bar. It's got a brand new chain, uh, so I'm not going to worry about too many things. Um, but I just want to test this out. I'm going to make sure that these fit on the bar studs like they're supposed to, and. The one part that is worrying me is how it how it stands up like this so uh, that is worrying me so um, hmm. where it's supposed to be down Let's see. yeah see that might be a problem like I said this is uh, going to be an alternative though to to the other way of buying the whole piece there we go that tightened it up all right, all right. so I don't have a 391 cover unfortunately uh, the guy did not leave me one I'm going to be using an MS391 that's already got the lug nuts, uh, or the bar nuts, sorry, already on here. Again, these aren't going to line up 100% because you're, you're putting it in there a little, a little differently, but... Again, this is not the right cover, so I'm not really sure... this goes like it's supposed to but this cover is not supposed to be on here that's so um, yeah but I'm gonna tighten this I'm gonna tighten it all the way down and it's still tightening So, like I said, the true test is when we get it in the wood, and we're going to see how good it does. Uh, I'm going to put some steel motor mix in here, and uh, so the, the back collar, uh, the big one, it uh, it cost me. Uh, here's the part numbers for this MS391. You have two. Um, I think they put the same. Here it is. Here's the numbers here. One goes in the back. One goes in the front. Um, forget which one goes which way let's see okay the 07 uh, goes in the back that's the M10 that's the one that still charged me four dollars for I'm sorry I put it in the picture so that's uh, four dollars for the one that goes in the back there's the number and this is the one that goes in the front and I think they only charged me like a dollar for that for the front one uh, so maybe we'll have five dollars in, in this parts Plus uh, the JB Weld cost, which, you know, you only use a little bit. But uh, we'll get into some wood and see if it holds up. All right, here's some wood we can get into. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be dangerous because we don't know what to, what to expect. Here we go.
Okay, so we didn't have it in a, a ton of uh, heavy, heavy stuff, but we just want to see if there's any cracking going on when we take this off. That's our main concern. Is there any cracking? Gonna take this bar off and, and the oil is working great so that's a another plus a lot of sawdust all right and so even though the, the oil keeps trying to get in there no cracking really uh, from from where we've seen earlier there might be some edge cracking there but all in all there is some movement there so that does, you know. Well, it holds. It holds enough. And like I said, this is. Um, this is for a customer he's, he's going to have to know that you know i, I came up with this uh, but hopefully it holds uh hopefully it does for years to come uh can't can't guarantee anything of course but as you can see this jb weld i mean i can push on this as hard as i can and nothing's happening so i guess it works i hope this helps somebody that's busted this out as as i did and i'm kicking myself uh very hard for not making the video of actually putting the the JB weld inside but I was just going off the top of my head I mean I was just I had no idea what I was doing so we'll see um, anyway hope this helps